Hi, I'm Mike Morales. You are watching and listening to Sipping Off the Cuff on Tequila Aficionado Media. I almost slurred my words. <laughs> I'm here in San Antonio. That gentleman staring at me kind of funny is... <laughs> Matt Metris in Rochester, New York. Uh, Matt and I have, uh, have the distinction of dissecting and talking about and tasting Puerto Bello tequila. Now, if you haven't seen this, if, if you folks are, are, are heavy into Instagram, these guys' Instagram is right on point. Go find them. Go follow them. They, they, you know, they, they are some really classy and elegant pictures. Um, I, think, I think Matt uh, was really taken with the way it was, uh, uh, you know, the, the bottling and the design is, is, like you said, very upscale. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, you, you work uh, part-time at, at the bar. I guess it's part-time now or three It is part-time now. I have so many jobs, Mike. It's hard to keep track of what Jeez, I'm doing. Jeez, uh, you, but, you yeah. sound like a Jamaican. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I used to be that part-time. way. I used to have like three jobs, man. And, yeah. Uh, my favorite one was being on radio, and that was the one that paid the least. <laughs> yeah. Well, this one I get paid in tequila, so, you know. Hey, a... well, you know, yeah, <laughs> that's right, huh? <laughs> Um, Puerto Bello is being imported by a company in Miami, Florida. They were nice enough to, to send this out to us. Um, JP Promoters, I believe, is, is the name of the company. Uh, Matt, you weren't able to find any uh, uh, any other states Just, that they are in currently? I couldn't find any, any distribution info uh, other than they'll sell it to you directly from their website. Uh, and between the Blanco and this one, I did some more looking. Uh, they'll ship it. If you buy a case, they'll ship it for a dollar. Wow. So, yeah. Uh, I'll buy that for a dollar. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, tonight we are going to try Puerto Bello Reposado. Now, uh, Matt, uh, uh, somewhere in his house, he has this brochure. It was a really beautiful brochure, which is basically what they have on the website. So. Uh, yeah. I'm going to read to you what, what the Reposado has. Uh, it is aged in white American oak barrels. Um, let's see. For eight months. You know, I know I saw that. There we go. Eight months. Yeah. It's a, you know, I'm going to pour mine into my Stasso Jarrito, which I use for, it's a the Mezcal Jarrito, but I like switching back and forth. You know, for an eight month aged, it's rather light. It's pretty light, yeah. I have the uh, the tequila her Stossel Harito okay. that I just rinsed out from the last one. There we go. Yeah, the Blanco it didn't wow us, but it was still good enough to be to be nominated Brand of Promise. And and uh, what I love about the fact is that uh, it tells you on no uncertain terms that they ferment using the Mozart method. Um, this uh, let me read the nom on that so that so that everybody gets a, an idea of where it's coming from if you if you have your current gnome list up uh or you know where to get it it's uh, gnome 1443 and it is uh produced and bottled by grupo industrial tequilero de los altos de jalisco and uh it is being imported by jp promoter uh promoter in Miami, Florida. So there's there's just one of them. Yeah, there's only one. <laughs> there can be only one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now we're well, we are in the Highlands. So yeah, we're uh... in the Highlands. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Somebody just who nerding who, out on somebody tequila who, aficionado. Somebody who catches the the reference. <laughs> the Blanco did not whack your head off. Okay, I will tell you that for sure. Um, <laughs> But oh, now see the legs and tears on this one are nice. They're they're oh. they're clingy. They're coming down beautifully. It is it is a very attractive right now. Uh, what color would you say the tequila looks like right now? Uh, kind of an amber color, maybe? Yeah, strawish amber or an amberish straw. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna assume I'm gonna you know what is, what they say about assumptions. I'm gonna assume that the barrels are used. Yeah, probably. Probably. And I'm getting more barrel notes, which is nice. Yeah. 
you know the the blanco didn't uh, the complexity in the in the nose of the blanco just wasn't there there wasn't a whole lot going on but there's more more spice notes and barrel notes on this one yeah i get some of that similarity from the blanco in the um baked agave notes that we were getting okay okay probably right in the center of the glass i think is where i'm getting that which has been now that I've been playing with this this glassware for up to a year, over a year now, I, I'm I'm being able to pick and see which, which where in the glass I'm getting I'm getting mm -hmm. certain notes from and what side of my body because I you'll you'll see me tilt from from left to right, left brain right brain, and and I don't know about you Matt but have have you noticed you don't have to really dig in. Uh, like we have with maybe with Riedel's, for sure. instance. Like, yeah, absolutely. I'm really hoping this docile goes completely bananas with the, putting the the Jarritos out for for mass sale everywhere because yeah, this really, I I think it was either you or or. Uh, Jim Johnson that said that the uh, the quality of tequila nowadays has outpaced the real glass. And it's true. And yeah. I think I think the Stossel that also, by the way, all, the Stossel also makes the the uh, Glencairn, which mm. has for the longest but, time been a, a preferred glass for not just whiskey, but a lot of my Oakhead friends who are into tequila just prefer it. Yeah, I use Glencairn sometimes. And this has this glass has a lot of similarity in design to the Glencairn as well. I, I want to dive in. I, I Let's really do it. like the, the agave notes in the center of the glass. I went down a little bit the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, I know. I get that too a lot. It's definitely got that uh, oakiness forward. Um, I got more of the agave notes now. Mm -hmm. For some reason, it's it's been amplified, and I'm not sure what I'm not sure what happened between the blanco and the red wall. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to say that this is completely due to the wood. Right. Um, but now there's there my full palette came into play. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I got that explosion in it mid palate. It's got a much longer finish than the Blanco. That has that has to be due to the barrel. Sorry, I couldn't talk. I had tequila in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's okay. Um, did you get any baking spices or anything um, at mid palate? Because I started to get that kind of. It's subtle. It's... Yeah. It's not in your face. It's I, I would use the same word we'd use with the Blanco. It's sort of subdued. Okay. Um, but yeah, I get a little bit of that. Um, it's kind of hard to put my finger on it because the oak is the predominant thing that I'm tasting. Well, considering what we started with, that we started with a with a with a rather tame Blanco, it would make sense that the oak would would shine through. Sure. And and now I'm getting, I, I you know, there, the juice is more complex. The Blanco, yeah. there wasn't a whole lot of complexity to it. It didn't make me want to um, uh, stay and linger, uh, which, which on the other hand, could make it very dangerous. <laughs> As I said, <laughs> you can put a straw in it and, you know, go through half of it without even knowing. But I'm I'm really digging this this reposado. I'm mm -hmm. picking it much more than the blanco. I'm picking up on the end maybe some caramel or butterscotch, like really really hidden in the back there when the oak sort of fades away. Yeah, I get that too. It's um. I don't want to go all the way and say it's vanilla, but it because it really isn't. But no, but it's it's something in that spectrum of uh, of flavors. Um, they, they I know that the blanco mentioned nuttiness, but I'm getting more of the toasted 
I'm getting more, you know, anything that the barrel has imparted in this thing, I'm getting. I'm, yeah. I'm getting toasted uh, nuts, uh, you know, maybe toasted almonds, something like that. Sure. Uh, but I am getting a, an explosion at mid palate that that it's like a hot cinnamon for me, not not so hot that it, that it you know that it like like a black pepper hot, but there's a there's an explosion of 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 spiciness in the center. Yeah, I can see that. So this is this is what they have to say uh, on their website. Uh, it releases an apple bouquet to the nose with some notes of citrus and nut. At the mouth, its soft taste of nut and wood will be perceived. At the very end, it develops a pure sense of cooked agave. That's what I'm getting at the end, which is what yeah. you talked about right, right then and there. You said that the agave is coming through. Mm -hmm. and, and I get it, too. I understand. I'm not sure I'm getting apple. But what I am getting at the, at the end, at the end of the palate, at the end of the swallow, at the, at the, at the rear... I am getting the agave that we got in the Blanco on the nose, but, uh, but I'm getting it on the palate now, so I'm not sure how mm -hmm. that, I'm not sure how that worked. I don't know. I wish that that quality had been in the Blanco. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, it, it, was, it was fine enough, almost too refined. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. the Blanco was but but I but this this repo I like a much better how about you yeah me too okay and, now uh, what would you do with with a with a repo silo like this mm -hmm. so they're selling this one for $48 uh, so that puts it kind of mid-market if you're going to be mixing with it um, it's it's tough to at that price point use it in a cocktail in any sort of volume and still make money on the cocktail. Mm -hmm. um, so by default, I think you would have to, to serve it neat. Um, if in a world without uh, cost, <laughs> you know, we could do some other stuff. And I'm trying to think what I would probably go to with that. Um, well, do you think it's hardy enough to do something like a Manhattan or it might not be dark enough for something like that, but yeah, it would be, we could, we, I, I would try it, you know, but I'm, 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 I'm not sure where my go-to would be on this. Um, okay. I'd be interested to see how it would work in a classic margarita and just see how it would pair with the citrus, um, you know, and, and see what comes of that. How about um, a Paloma, maybe? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm thinking it's hearty enough of that. You know, we've said this, and, and, and you and I have talked about it last year, and, and several of the other TJs agree that the Reposado is making a comeback. I think in this case where Puerto, Be Puerto Bello's line is, the Reposado makes a statement. Yeah. And, and I think, in my estimation, I think it's hardy enough. Uh, I think it stand up to, like you said, uh, uh, your, your standard cocktails like a tequila sunrise or a or a margarita, uh, more so than the Blanco. Um, yeah. That, that Blanco is really dangerous. Um, but I, I think, I th you know, the more I have of this, the more I, the more I understand, I think, where they're going with it. Um, I, I might even be inclined to pair it with a, with a cigar myself. Not, sure. Not something so robust that it's just going to, maybe a mild cigar, just so that it would complement each other instead of, you know, fight each other. Um, what do you think? Miranda Promise nominee? Yeah, I think so. Here we go. Miranda Promise nominee. I gotta nominee. get one of these signs. I can just give it a I, I gotta send you one of the, you know, actually, yeah. we're, gonna, we're gonna make all, all new ones and I, I'll make sure I send you the ice cream stick. Because <laughs> I feel like I'm at an auction. <laughs> yeah. I'm at a wine auction. Um, but yeah, I, I think, I think, um, Judging from the type, from the many tequilas we've already had for 2019, I know this is just just a couple that Matt and I have done, but uh, uh, having having done several other ones, I can tell you that uh, the, the Reposado category is getting very crowded and very tough. It's becoming a dogfight, and it was last year for us too. So I I think what they did with whatever they did with their barrel, 
it fixed the Blanco enough to make me want it. Do I want it for, for what did you say it was priced at? 40, 47 dollars uh, uh, Yeah, I, I don't, I think once they get, once they get wider distribution and they open up the other states, uh, that you might, you might see that price go down a little bit. It's um, a tough price point to compete at. Yeah, yeah, I don't know where they're headed. Um, they, you know, they're obviously pretty well funded. I, I'm surprised that they're not in more states, because yeah. you know a brochure like this with 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 you know with the with the glossy paper, this this isn't cheap. You know, yeah. um, the the bottling, you know, as you said, they they want to appear much more uh, much more upscale, high end. You know, they they they've got the you know. Uh, I, I would I would think that they would be in more. St I'd like to see them in more states. I, I think that they can compete. Um, maybe once they're in more states, then they, you know the price goes down. Then you know a place like yours, where you where you work uh, part time, might take a chance on on um, you know getting a, a, a delivery or shipment of some of these. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I'll I'll go on a limb. I'll, I'll say this is a brand of promise nominee. And and again, uh, I want to see the progression. I want to see what uh, I haven't opened my añejo yet. This will be completely off the cuff for me. But uh, if you stick with us, we will be tasting and describing for you the añejo of Puerto Bello. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm Mike Morales here in San Antonio. That gentleman out there is Matt Metris in Rochester, New York. You have been watching and listening to Sipping Off the Cuff on Tequila Aficionado Media, all of our platforms. If you're listening to us on Anchor FM or anywhere you download podcasts, please subscribe. Or if you're watching us on YouTube, hit the red also button. Also subscribe. Also subscribe. And throw us, uh, if you're listening to the podcast, throw us a review too. Uh, yeah. We love five-star reviews. Yeah, um, absolutely. Absolutely. Please do so. And whatever you do, tomar sabiamente. Sip wisely.